please, please give it up for what I think is going to be a, a very, very interesting talk by Jamie Alea. Give it up! Hey, Codemash. Some of you might know me as Jamie Hampton. I've been coming here for maybe six or seven years now. That's not my name anymore. Actually, it's Jamie Alea now. So that's exciting for me to see on the screen. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I am a Ruby on Rails developer from Buffalo, New York. Uh, yes, that is me. <laughs> Go Bills. And this is also me at my Letterpress studio in Buffalo, because Letterpress is what I want to talk about today. Um, this is the Western New York Book Arts Center. It is my favorite place in the entire world. And this is the project that I did with when I was their studio resident. It's a tarot deck that I printed, um, designed and hand printed all on Letterpress. And if you want to talk more about tarot, come find me after or find me in the makerspace. I even have copies for sale. But today what I'm actually going to talk about is the history of Letterpress. And when I say the history of Letterpress, you're probably pic picturing like Germany in the 1440s. Um, actually, it's much older than that. They've been doing this style of printing, woodblock printing, in China since like ancient times. Um, so why is it that we all know about this Gutenberg guy then? Um, well, he was still pretty instrumental in spreading this technology around Europe. He did invent some important pieces of it, like we've got this wine style press. Um, that was one of his inventions, and it helped do bulk printing because it takes paper faster. Of course, he also invented metal movable type. Uh, Gutenberg was a goldsmith. He invented the alloy, the metal alloy that the type was made out of, the method of casting it and making it, and also the recipe for the new ink that they had to use that could adhere to the metal type. And this is essentially still what I use today. In fact, this one on the right is um, a project that I'm working on, so I typeset that. And I might be a little bit biased, but um, the printing press is the most important invention ever in history. Uh, it completely changed the way that information is disseminated. Um, it, knowledge was easier to access. News spread around the globe in a way that it didn't before. More people were learning how to read. It really affected every other aspect of history, like politics with pamphlets, the, the freedom of press. Religion, the Protestant Reformation, science, math, you don't have to be a noble to learn things anymore. So it's putting power into the hands of the people, which is really cool. And then there are all these other inventions that have happened since then based on the printing press. These are a few. Um, but essentially, these are all upgrades to the same method of disseminating information. Like if you make a zine and then make copies at Kinko's and hand it out to your friends, that's essentially the exact same act action as making a pamphlet, making copies on a printing press, and handing those out to your friends, which we've been doing for literally hundreds of years. And so none of these things revolutionize the way we do things in the same way, until the internet. The internet is changing everything. I'm sure you've noticed this. And that's because we had been living in the age of the printing press all the way from the 1440s until like super recently when we entered the age of the internet. And so that's why we're kind of in this time period where things are happening so quickly. So it's the internet age now. Printing press is done, right? I don't think so. And I've kind of distilled it down to two reasons why I don't think so. The first is about history. Um, we actually have something really interesting in common with Gutenberg because he was alive when the printing press was new and now we're alive when the internet is new. Um, so I think there's something that we can learn from that because I just said the internet is changing everything. I think that's true, but ultimately it's still in its infancy. It took hundreds of years for it to shake out how the printing press was going to change everything. And Gutenberg had no idea about that in his time. He just couldn't imagine all of the things that would happen. Um, and I think that we can't imagine all of the like ways the internet is going to continue to change things in really profound and fundamental ways. So it's fun to be able to like look back at history and think about it. Uh, my other reason, I struggled a little bit what to call this, but I went with self-improvement. Because probably most of you in this room work with the internet, and that probably means that you spend a lot of time of your day sitting at a computer, which like, me too, and I love my job, so there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but ultimately, everything I make at my job as a software engineer is 
virtual. Um, like you can definitely write some good code and feel rewarded by that, but it's still characters on a screen. Um, and printing press isn't like that. There we go. Uh, it's much more tactile. It's much more intentional in a lot of ways. Um, like, is it tedious to put all those letters like that? Yes, obviously, it's extremely tedious. Um, but I also find it really meditative, and it's really rewarding at the end to be able to hold something in your hands and say, like, I made this thing that I can hold and hand to you, and it's real, and it exists. I think that is so cool. And I think if you work with software and you're at a computer all the time, I think your soul could benefit from a little bit of this. And so that's why my call to action at the end of my printing press talk is I encourage everyone to think about taking up a new hobby. It doesn't have to be printing press, even though I love it. Um, but there's lots of things you can do that use your hands and have a lot of history behind them. You know, try jewelry making. Try stained glass. Try pottery or woodworking. You know, forge a knife. I don't know what it is that you want to do, but something that with your hands that has history behind it, just try it and then message me because I literally want to hear all about it. Thank you. <laughs>